Well, it's not clear what would happen to computational and applied math if there weren't any SIAM journals. I mean, SIAM journals really are quality, importance, and they're affordable. So, I mean, I always try to publish in a SIAM journal, and I encourage my students to do so. For more than half a century, SIAM's peer-reviewed journals have been the leading forum for the exchange of interdisciplinary research between mathematicians and other scientists. They've been around since really the uh, advent of the whole discipline. I mean, SIAM was, was the original and still the leading society in applied math. And the journals evolved as the uh, you know, interests of the applied math community grew. I think SIAM has always been fairly judicious in, in choosing areas and limiting the number of journals so they would always be very high quality. But within the last five years, for example, there have been a new journal in imaging science, one in financial mathematics, and most recently in uncertainty quantification. I don't know of any other series of journals that covers that breadth and depth that SIAM journals do. So for example, SIAM Review, right? In SIAM Review you have survey papers of, of new and interesting areas for which books don't exist yet. So for example, in, in my area, randomized algorithms, there's a SIAM Review paper. There's no book, but that paper I can give to the students and they can read it. If you're a new researcher just entering a field, those journals can help you very quickly get up to speed with what's been done in that field. Also show an example of, if you wish, how you should write good papers and uh, what the standard should be in scientific publication. Publication in SIAM's highly respected journals can be an important career event. They're very, very well respected in the community. I've been on many promotion and hiring committees and I'm really impressed how often referees and committees talk with uh, high respect of publications in SIAM journals. SIAM journals have helped me a lot, and in fact I've published often in SIAM Review, which is a very widely distributed journal, and that's been great. When you publish there, you get the most recognition you could imagine. Those are my highly cited papers. There's the prestige and there's the visibility. If you publish in SIAM journals and you're an applied mathematician, the people who see your papers are the people you want to see your papers. One of the ways SIAM journals differentiate themselves is through a comprehensive review process that includes copy editing. We get uh, usually two referee reports, and usually they are two fairly careful referee reports. And then usually a paper gets revised in response to those referee reports, and also then copy edited and eventually published. Most publishers don't copy edit anymore. And uh, we do, and we do a very good job of it. And our members really value that uh, because it's a service they don't get elsewhere. Serving in an editorial capacity is another way in which SIAM members can benefit from the journals. The people that are appointed to the boards are recognized leaders in the area. Uh, SIAM has always had a policy of rotating people through boards so that you don't just get boards stagnating with the same editors and the same editors-in-chief for long periods of time. So there's a continual process of sort of refreshment and renewal. You learn an amazing amount of things. You're not just reading your papers and the papers of people that you work with and collaborate with. If you're on an editorial board, you need to be prepared to handle papers that are not in your field and do something intelligent with those papers. So you're forced to broaden yourself, you're forced to read things you normally wouldn't read, you're forced to talk to people you normally wouldn't talk to professionally. Uh, I can think of th projects I have been successful in that I wouldn't have thought of doing had I not refereed a few papers. With an expanding international presence, SIAM journals continue to be the world's link to the latest in applied math and computational science research. What makes me stay in the field, and I think most applied mathematicians, is uh, not only when you look at a problem, is there uh, something novel from the disciplinary, the science, the engineering, okay? But there's a mathematical question, okay? And uh, where do you publish that? So you're proud of both, okay? Do you publish it in a disciplinary journal? Well, you can, but the math's gonna get lost, okay? Do you publish it alone uh, in a, a mathematics journal? Well, the, the, the reason for doing the problem's lost, okay? SIAM gives you the opportunity to put it all in one place.